The Oceania International Championships are upon us, happening from the February 17th to the 19th of 2023. This is the second international championship in the 2023 season circuit, happening in Melbourne, Australia, where we will have three competitive games, trading card game, video game, and Pokemon Go. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys everything you need to know about following the trading card game championships, or I mean, I guess any game you want, um, this coming weekend, or whenever you watch this video and how you can follow along because it is one of the most premier events of the year and hopefully you guys have fun. My name is Rahul Reddy, welcome to the channel and hopefully you guys enjoy this kind of content and I help you kind of follow along the journey this weekend. This tournament will have a lot of top players. Some of the world's best in every single game will show up and compete for the crown. Um, the field is not that big, but there will be a lot of prizes and yeah, well, here we go. The competition will take place at the Mel Melbourne Convention Center at the Exhibition Center in Bays 23 and 24, a massive convention center, and the tournament will start at about 9 a.m. on Friday. Day two will have 9, 9 a.m. Friday start time as well, and Sunday will consist of the finals and only the finals for all three games and all three divisions. Um, the registrations are here. If you are planning on attending, well, you probably should register, but uh, I don't really know if... Uh, yeah, anyway... Um, Simple rules, whatever, yada, yada. If you're a TCG player, <laughs> the rules are pretty fun here. Bring a 60-card deck. Do your localized region cards. You have to submit a list by 6 a.m. AEDT on Friday, February 17th, in order to participate. Easy enough. And deck list submission opens soon. So that is the simple stuff about what you need to know. Seniors and juniors will play. Now, what are we competing for? The prizes for... Uh, the Trading Card Game Championships is $10,000 for first place, as well as 216 booster backs, which I believe is six boxes. Now, 9th through 16th will get 144 booster packs, as well as 72 for 17th to 32nd, and 36 for 33rd to 64th. First gets 10,000, second gets 5,000, third and fourth get 2,500, fifth through eighth get 1,500, and then $1,000 for 9th through 16th, and $750 for 17th through 32nd, and 33rd through 64th will walk away with $500 as well. Now, VGC is basically the same numbers, but cut that in half for the money, and the packs are significantly lower. Pokemon Go reflects almost identically what the video game championships will also be receiving in prizing. Now, besides that, where can you watch this championship? Well, 9 a.m. is... Australian time on Friday is a whole day prior. It's this ignore Thursday. I don't know why. That's the thing. It's like what's happening right now. But um, uh, 9 a.m. in Australia time would be the previous day. So for you guys, Thursday at 5 p.m. on the East Coast, which is where I am, 2 p.m. on the West Coast, and 11 p.m. if you're in Central European time, which I believe are probably where a majority of my viewers are from. If you guys are from somewhere else, I apologize. You can put it into the word clock and figure it out yourself. Now, where can you watch this tournament? There's going to, it's going to be on twitch.tv slash Pokemon slash Pokemon TCG, and I think Pokemon Go probably. But if you are a YouTube watcher like me, I watch on YouTube a lot. It's already, look, the videos are already ready to go on the Pokemon, official Pokemon YouTube channel. They already have the VODs ready to go lined up for the stream, and it will be a banger of a show. You're going to see day one, day two. You just have to click on these streams, watch, and enjoy the content. As far as casters and all that stuff, I have no clue. But we'll figure it out when we get there together. Um... This will be the first international to feature the Sword and Shield or Scarlet and Violet expansion. And for the trading card com competitors, well, here is your prizing. There is championship points as well awarded. The first place finisher will earn 500 championship points, qualifying them for the world championships. And, you know, yada, 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 down the line, a lot of points. And so this should be all the information you guys need to know about the Oceania International Championships as we head over there. Um, here is a quick primer on what the Latin America International Championships looked like. Um, if you guys would like to watch that, it's on this channel here. I'll play a couple seconds of it so you guys get a little bit of a head start on what the, these kinds of events look like before we cut this off and let you guys enjoy the experience for yourself. This was the first international of the season over in Latin America um, a few months ago, and this is how big and crazy the events are. That's the mat, that's the badge they usually get. I know that kid, Polaris. <laughs> usually I like to watch these videos and try to find anyone I know. Uh, see how it looks, find the people. I already have seen this video, so you can, I already know that my buddy John, uh, my teammate, is shown a couple Trainers, of times. Let's start the international championships. Here comes the We're gonna skip the go part and go straight to TCG, because that's what I'm 
here for we're gonna show a little bit of the tcg and i'll jump out there's john my teammate it's crazy look at how insane the venue is back there there's john again this pop-off was crazy uh i'm over here too i give john a hug right after but that's all you guys need to know for this primer hopefully this gives you everything you guys need to know to follow along the oceania international championships coming up if you guys like this content like subscribe and enjoy the content hopefully i do well and you guys see me on stream peace out